What's up YouTube? In today's video, we're gonna show you how Copy AI's new chat feature can help you create incredible content in no time. From real-time search and personalized emails to long-form content and brainstorming ideas. Finally, we'll also check out their new prompt library that's built right into Copy AI. Make sure to hit the like button and share your thoughts in the comments as we go. Let's get right into it. I'm sure many of you who aren't new to the AI game is pretty familiar with Copy AI. It's one of the leading AI writers that's very well funded and very developed extensively with a lot of templates already built in that are amazing, plus a wizard to create blogs and articles. So just to go a little bit into what it is and what it could do, uh, right here, you know, write blogs 10 times faster, write engaging emails. Look how many, how many people are using this copy AI, 6 million plus. So it's, it's a huge platform that has gained a lot of popularity, right? And, but in today's video, we're going to be focusing on their new chat feature, which is supposed to be comparable to chat GPT, but with a few tricks up its sleeve. Let's get right into that aspect now. Actually, let's go check out the pricing first. So they have a pro plan that gives you unlimited words and now the price is $36 per month. They used to be much more pricey and they used to uh, limit you and have tears that are based on how many words you generate. But you know, chat GPT coming out and being unlimited and free, you know, if you don't get the plus has caused some pressure on the competition. So they reverted it, it even when they changed back to uh, the unlimited words, it started out at $49, but it looks like now it's down to $36. All right, so let's get to the chat aspects, right? As I discussed in the intro, this lets you actually use real-time information. So you could put in prompts about what's going on right now and see results based on that you could also input actual urls and have it grab data and use that in the background context so that's very powerful something that chat gpt currently cannot do there is an extension that could help you you know give that feature to chat gpt but it's not it's not very good and uh, i'll cover that extension in another video so make sure to subscribe and stay tuned this also allows you to create long form uh, content all in one go and the content will be nicely formatted and so forth. We're going to check that out also for your social media and uh, brainstorming ideas. This is a very cool tool, but let's get started with the first task. So here it says summarize the latest news in generative AI. So let's go check that out. Let's see what it comes up with. So now summarizing the latest news on generative AI, it's going, it's using multiple bots going into the search results and finding information about what's going on, plus giving you source references, as you could see. According to recent news, generative artificial intelligence has become a buzzword in the technology industry, capturing public attention so on and so forth. And then it goes over about some information on that, right? So let's try a different prompt. Um, summarize, let, let, actually let's say who won the 2023 Super, Super Bowl. Oh, here we go. I'm sorry. It's an AI language model. I do not have the ability to access real-time information. Interesting that it gives you that response. 
Um, let's see, what date is it? So it's able to let us know today is March 23rd, which is correct at the time of uh, recording this video. Let's try that in chat GPT. What date is it? Is it? Chat GPT was able to also answer that correctly. Let's see, who won the 2023 Super Bowl. And it kind of gives you the same kind of answer, right? As an AI language model, I'm not ability doesn't have the ability to do that. So um, it seems like it's on par with that. Let's structure it back on how how they had it in their template. So summarize the latest news on generative AI. Um, latest news on uh what do you guys think <laughs> uh what, what's uh what's okay you do you uh, that probably is uh blocked but on the ukraine war let's let's see what it says with that ah so it's basically depending on how you write the prompt that it gives you uh that latest information but here it hasn't cited any sources so it's a bit different from this right but let's see as of march 23 hmm, look at the year look at the year tensions remain high ongoing conflict between uk and russia the recent weeks there's been an uptick in violence the UK government has accused russia of increasing military buildup near the border this, this is completely out of date information so it seems it seems to have issues if you try to uh, just give it a generic question like that uh, that's real time um, okay let's let's say so I was the latest news on on uh, US uh, Presidential elections. Let's see what it comes up with that. And let's see if it's going to give us some sources. Again, according to NBC News, the 2020 presidential election saw Joe Biden defeat Donald Trump. Um, it's it's not giving us the latest information and it's given us a blank source so it kind of failed in this department now let's check out another way you could do this right we'll feed it a URL of someone and ask them to write a personalized email so let's let's do that all right write a personalized email too and I already went and found the founders uh, LinkedIn profile for copy AI, Chris Liu, and they're hiring, by the way. So let, let's let's see what copy AI can write for us as an email to this person. I'm not even giving it any context or goals. Let's see what it comes up with on its own. So right now it's loading. Um, I guess it's grabbing the data, grabbing the information, checking out the profile, and let's see what it spits out. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. Unable to complete your request at this time. Interesting. Maybe there's something going on right now where uh, things are just not working. Um, let's try another one. Let's try Tom Cruise. So this is the Wikipedia page of Tom Cruise and um, man it's loaded with facts and details right so let's see what chat GPT could do for us here uh, not chat GPT but copy AI chat feature so let's see uh, write a biography on Tom Cruise 
based on the following page. Let's see what it comes up with. I don't know why it's having those other issues, but here it goes spitting out a lot of facts and details from the Wikipedia page. And we're going to have to go and check that out. So Tom, Thomas Cruise, so short for Tom Cruise, is an American actor, producer, born in July 3rd, 1962. Let's go fact check that. Uh, he was born yeah, July 3rd, 1962. Okay, perfect. Uh, he was born in New York, Syracuse. Yep, correct. He's one of the world's highest paid actors and received various accolades, so honorary. Okay, let's see if we could find this on the wiki page. Yeah, right there. Honorary Palm Dior. I'm probably mispronouncing that. Uh, and three Golden Globes awards. Okay, let's see if we could find that there. Wow, it looks like it's grabbed it word for word here. Hmm, <laughs> not looking good. Let's see. In addition to nomination for Academy Awards, his film has grossed over four million in North America. I mean, four billion. Let's see if that figure is also, yeah. Okay, that's crazy. It, it's pretty much grabbed this thing word for word <laughs> and did not change it much. So that, that's pretty, pretty unfortunate, right? Um, let's see. Cruz began acting in the early 1980s and made his breakthrough with leading roles. Cruz began his acting in the early 1980s and made his breakthrough with the leading role. It pretty much just grabbed the page and you're going to have a lot of plagiarism issues with something like this. That's so unfortunate. So it failed this test also. Let's clear it and uh, see what else we can find. Let's try this again because that, that was weird. Maybe the, the servers were having some kind of issue. Here's Chris's LinkedIn profile. Let's check it out. It's doing something uh, this time. Oh, here we go. So this worked now where I grabbed information from the LinkedIn profile. Okay. I hope this email finds you well. I came across your LinkedIn profile and was impressed by your experience as a co-founder of Copy AI. Yeah, it's amazing to see how your novel application has helped businesses author more than 2,000 landing pages. Okay, let's see. Where did it get this? 2,000 landing pages. Ah, so here it says 2 million signups. Oh, there we go. So, so it grabbed information that someone else wrote in his profile to give, you know, a recommendation. So <laughs> it's, it got confused on the information here. So this person said, Dave, Chris's novel application has allowed me to author more than 2000 landing pages, more than a million words, right? And he's referring to himself, right? At, Link Live AI, but the AI, you know, the chat feature at Copy AI uh, associated this information to Chris's product directly. Um, I'm pretty sure there's way more than 2,000 landing pages that were put together. But you know, that's a, that's the that's a difficulty with things like this where you just give it a, a generic URL and tell it to do something. It's more powerful to give it background information piece by piece and uh, make sure it's clear because the AI just sees a whole whole bunch of information. So it looks at 
his profile and it's looking at all the text on the profile, right? And uh, I guess it got confused here uh, where it was a recommendation that ended up being part of the output here. So let's get past that. I'll perform traditional blogs. Congratulations. Okay. Particularly interested in your recent past post about chat by copy AI as content creator. I believe this tool can be a game changer. All right. So here's the thing about, you know, AI, you're going to have to fact check it, make sure things make sense, regardless if you're using chat GPT directly or through third party here. But this gets it pretty quickly up and running. Right. If you need to spit out a lot of emails uh, to do outreach or cold emailing or whatnot. Right. Um, let's give it another test. Uh, uh, let's see. Clear chat. All right. Summarize the latest news on copy AI. Let's try that. Let's see what it comes up with. Okay. Spitting out a lot of information. Okay. No references. Right. But it's telling us what it is as a, as an AI. So I can tell you the latest news on copy AI is, is rapidly advancing, becoming more sophisticated. All right. Copy of the uses of da, 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 da. some of the recent developments and the feeling could end up into a more natural sounding content. Okay. That's all interesting. Let me try doing it differently. Let's put the actual URL. Okay. Um, let's say write a on a summary on HTTP. Copy AI. Oops. AI. Let's see what we get here. So far, um, it's not looking very good for <laughs> for a lot of the features that it claims. Okay. All right. So it was able to go and grab information here. Copy AI is an AI power to highly quality content, variety of purposes, including product descriptions, ad copy, website copy, blogs, and email. The tool is designed to streamline the content created, creating process by automating most difficult parts. Okay, it gives us a, a nice little summary. Um, so that that worked. Let's give it a try with some other website. Mm. Let's do long shot, long shot AI, I believe is the site. So long shot is another AI tool. That's pretty cool because it has a built in fat GPT. I'll be checking that out in another video. Okay. It seems to be working. Let's see what it comes up with. Wow. I mean, it, it's a little disappointing what happened so far. But, oh, okay, here we go. So I think you have to be very specific uh, and test out different prompts for it to work like they envision it. So if you deviate a little bit, it gives, you know, it actually either fails or gives you completely off information. So here it works. So it says long shot, long shot AI is a platform that offers AI content creation services to help you generate factual, accurate, customized content for specific use cases. Okay. That's, that's great. That's a great summary. So, I mean, you could use this to piece together different pieces of information for your article or your blog posts or your social media posts, right? So let's try the social media aspects now. All right, Jay. Okay. Generate 10 Instagram captions for Fashion Week. Let's see how that works out. Um, pretty good overall, but you know, look at this right here. 
Fashion Week 20, 20, 2019. Not good. Uh, the runway is calling. I must go. Fashion is not something that exists in dresses only. Bold prints, bright colors, daring designs. Pretty decent, but you know, a lot of AIs can do that. But now, finally, let's get to one of the most interesting aspects the prompt library. All right here, they allow you to save prompts so you could create your own custom prompts and uh, write, write your own uh, generative prompts. And they have a whole library of different prompts that's already created for you. So um, they have a SEO keyword ideas, generate a list of 20 keyword ideas on topic, cluster this list, uh, article generator, write an article about topic, include relevant stats, the links and sources and consider diverse perspective, write in an X amount of tone. So let's, let's try creating a article with this article generator, all right? So we have to replace these placeholders. So the topic will be, um, uh, let's see, Donald, Donald Trump. Uh, he's always an interesting figure <laughs> to talk about. Um, maybe I hope it doesn't affect the, the video and its reach, but let's see, write in a tone, uh, write in a tone and mention the sources in the link in the end. So let's, okay, let's Fox News Anchor. And mention the sources. Okay, this should be interesting to see how that comes out to be. I should have used uh, Bill Clinton, <laughs> Bill Clinton, <laughs> to be the tone. Um, but let's see if it's an entertaining article. How formatted it is, what the length is, and uh, how useful it is. still working so it's taking a little longer than the previous prompts so hopefully uh, it comes out with some substantial article that we could use I mean I don't have a political site but uh, it'd be hopefully it's a, a good one where we could uh, gain some insight on it Ooh. Not good again. Sorry, unable to complete your quest request at this time. Maybe it's because of the possible potential censorship because of that. Um, let's uh, let's give it a more simple one. Okay, write an article about training your pet fish. <laughs> Fishes can't be trained. <laughs> At least that's my assumption. Uh, and yeah, let's leave the Fox News anchor. Uh, maybe that's causing another problem. Comedian. Comedian. Okay. Write an article about training your pet fish. Include relevant statistics. Add the links of the sources. Consider diverse perspectives, right in a comedian, comedian tone, mention the sources. Okay, so it got started here. Uh, it abruptly stopped. Okay, there we go, still going. Oh, so that's nice, it's using H2s here, bulletin points. Ah, there you go, numbered lists, that's very good advanced training <laughs> okay let's see what it says your pet fish is a great companion for you and your family pet fish can be very friendly especially if you're raised from <laughs> they're raised from birth <laughs> they will swim around in the tank and interact with you which makes them fun to watch and interact with your pet fish will help you teach your children about responsibility as well the importance of caring for living things and depending on us for survival pet fish are also Good companions because they do not require much space. I mean, it completely kind of ignored what I was 
I was asking it to do, right? Training your pet fish, but let's see, maybe it gets into it. Pet fish also good companions. You only need an aquarium. Okay, preparing for training. Okay, so I guess in the first H2, it talks about before your fish can learn, <laughs> they need to be in an environment that is conducive to learning. First step is choose the right fish for training. You want a pet that is not only friendly and sociable, <laughs> but also intelligent enough to understand why you're teaching them. Goldfish. Wow. So it, it suggests a goldfish as <laughs> a pet that you could train. These are for, okay, aquarium, ponds alike, yada, yada. There's also quite easy going. Oh, let's take some patience before they return again. Okay. Teach the fish to recognize its name. Teach the fish to eat from your hand. Teach the fish to swim through hoops. Can you really do that? Maybe dolphins and stuff like that, but a goldfish? Uh, so this is definitely something that needs to be fact-checked. But at least it's pretty nicely formatted. Um, it looks like it stopped, so let's say continue. It's a very short article, but maybe my the topic I'm asking it to write about is you know pretty silly, and the AI doesn't have much knowledge on it. But let's see how many words that ended up being. I have a Chrome extension called Word Counter Plus. Let's you just you know works in the browser. You just select a piece of text, and uh, you're able to right click and get. The word count so in this case it's 554 words not much let's try a different prompt All right recruitment sales catchy captions so there's 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 a lot of different prompts here that you could that you could play around with um step-by-step -step guide create a step-by-step -step instruction how to okay let's try that um, the topic will be how to train your dog to sit. Okay, so this time I went very specific uh, and kept it kept the focus very narrow. Let's see if it comes up with something good here. Okay, so here's the thing about prompts. You know, garbage in, garbage out. Like I was saying, the better you engineer your prompt, the better results you get. So here I give it a very narrow focus, um, and something that it probably had a lot of knowledge about uh, with the prompt. Whereas this one wasn't too good, but this one is much better. Let's see how long this prompt. Oops. Let's see how long this was. Uh, word count plus so this was also 500 words 478 so there you have it guys you know um, it failed in a bunch of ways <laughs> that uh, uh, it was kind of unfortunate but I like where they're trying to go with this um, being able to grab real-time data be able to fetch information from profiles or a page to write an article. Those are things that will, you know, help you stand out, help them stand out from the competition and make their AI tool not just fade into irrelevancy. So hopefully they keep working on it, you know, uh, clear out the, the kinks. I know this is in beta right now. Um, so hopefully in the next updates, You'll be performing much better and fill less times, but I see the potential. I hope, you know, Chris keeps working on it and his team because they have such a huge user base. I would hope that they uh, fix these kinks, you know, fairly quickly. Until next time, make sure you subscribe, like, comment the video, and uh, stay tuned for more AI content, more marketing tools uh, to, to Take your business to the next level.